Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm bringing to the hospital for me and for baby boy. I am 35 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So excited. We are on that final stretch, that final month, and I just got my hospital bags packed and I'm going to show you guys in depth what I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it, and I am a second time mom. Second time mom, third kid. <laughs> I have two and a half year old twin boys. So I am a little bit experienced and know a little bit about what to expect with the hospital. And so I was definitely way more more prepared this time, packing my bags, knowing exactly what I want and what worked for me last time. Although I am planning for a little bit different of a birth experience this time. I had an emergency C-section at 32 weeks with my twins and they were in the NICU for over a month, like a month and a half. This baby, so far, everything is perfect. So I'm hoping to have a VBAC, which is vaginal birth after cesarean, but I did prep things for a c-section so i have postpartum essentials for both a vaginal birth and a c-section i feel like i'd mentioned this at the beginning of the video because the postpartum recovery can be a little bit different for the two i have not experienced a vaginal birth i'm hoping to but i did prep for one because as of right now he is going to come that way he's head down engaged ready to go i have no other complications so that is what i am going to be hoping and praying for honestly just for the recovery aspect that's why i want to have a vaginal birth c-sections are very difficult to recover from especially when i'm gonna be coming home to almost three-year-old twins so and i do have two separate bags one for me one for baby boy i think my husband will just bring like a little backpack or something he doesn't really need much but this is going to seem very extra to some people. I feel like I packed just what I needed, but to some people, they're literally, they bring nothing to the hospital and they're totally fine. But this is just what's gonna make me feel comfortable, especially not knowing if I'm gonna have a C-section and be in the hospital for a few more days. At least the hospital that I delivered at, if you have a vaginal birth, you can stay like 24 to like 36 hours, like a day, two days if you want. Hopefully if I have a vaginal birth, we're only there for like a day. But if you have a C-section, I don't know if because I had twins it was different but I was in the hospital for I think four or five days after my c-section hopefully since it's a little different this time if I have a c-section it'll only be like three days but I think it just kind of depends on where you live your hospital's policies I think it just honestly depends but you are in the hospital longer typically so yep I'm gonna start with my stuff and then I'm gonna do baby boy stuff at the end if you enjoy motherhood home and lifestyle content that is all what my page is about. I do vlogs, I do beauty reviews, I do home things, I do decorate with me's, I do basically all the like mom home things. So if you enjoy that type of content, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. It helps our family out so much. And if you wanna stay up to date on our family, you can follow us over on Instagram and TikTok. Those are our bigger platforms and I do post there pretty much every single day. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. First, I'm gonna be sharing the bag that I'm bringing to the hospital. This bag is from Freshly Picked. Sorry, I'm like leaning against my bed. This bag is from Freshly Picked. It is their weekender bag and I got it in the color Dusty Blue. This is all packed and ready to go. I'm gonna be pulling everything out and showing you so I'm gonna have to like repack it anyways. But I just wanted to show you the, the bag that I'm bringing for me. This has plenty of room and space. It's like the perfect, it's literally called a weekender. It's like the perfect weekend bag. Um, Last time I brought like a whole suitcase and I feel like it was totally overkill. So I'm glad I'm just bringing like a duffel style bag this time but it definitely fits so much like I will have plenty of space okay starting with the actual birth recovery the things I am bringing to the hospital the things I'm bringing are not necessary because the hospital will provide a lot of postpartum supplies but there are certain things that I used last time that I feel like will not be provided at the hospital that I definitely wanted to have one of those is adult diapers now they give you like these mesh underwear with a pad in the hospital and it was fine like that's what I used but then as soon as I got home from the hospital I started wearing the diapers and it was so much more comfortable for me and I just didn't have to worry about the pad like slipping out of place or being super uncomfortable and I just wanted to bring these again to the hospital because I learned my lesson last time I like them way better and Amazon has the best deal that I can find. It's cheaper than if you were just basically to go into any store. Oh, and by the way, I have everything postpartum and like birth related linked in my Amazon storefront in the description. So if you want links to any of the things I'm showing, it'll either be in my Amazon storefront or my like to know it. I will try to link as many things as possible. 
but yeah I am bringing just one pack this has 20 in it they have a bunch of different sizes I grabbed a medium and then for my stomach I am bringing two girdles abdominal binders there's a million names for these but they are life-changing if I if you're gonna take anything from this video it doesn't matter what type of birth you have bring a postpartum girdle I'm telling you it's life-changing so I have this one that the hospital just gave me when I had my twins that's basically just a belly band and they gave it to me after my c-section to give me support and to wrap around my belly but then I did bring my own and this one I got from Amazon I will have it linked and this one is just a little bit more supportive and covers more of my abdomen than the other one does and I wore both of these on top of each other and I'm telling you the combination of the two helped bring my abs back together so quickly and helped me sit up and pump and breastfeed and just like get mobile quicker I feel like because your stomach feels like mush after you have a baby it literally feels so weird and I swear these give you so much support and sometimes hospitals will provide these for you you may want to ask your doctor beforehand if you don't want to buy one but I think it's a good investment just to have just in case and also to wear two on top of each other if that's something you're interested in doing next I have this little makeup bag with all of my postpartum recovery things that I want to bring to the hospital. Like I said, a lot of this is kind of just extra, but I did want to bring my own. I have some tux pads. These are just the witch hazel pads. This is the Freedom Mom witch hazel foam. So I have both these options. I'm going to see which one I like better. This is like the cooling foam. So I feel like that would feel really good. And then I also have from the brand Mini Bloom, their Hallelujah Nipple Balm. I just remember how excruciatingly painful my nipples were when I started breastfeeding my twins. And I know now how important this is. So this one will be going on from day one and I like the ingredients in this one like I don't feel weird about this like getting in the baby's mouth because it's just like all natural ingredients like I can literally read every ingredient in this <laughs> and, and, I, and I know what it is and then I'm bringing nursing pads because I already pretty much have to use nursing pads because I've been leaking so bad I was quite an oversupplier with my twins and I did start leaking really early and I'm already leaking now so bring these to the hospital so I don't ruin and soak through my two bras that I'm bringing and then this is like another thing that the hospital will provide but not in this way they will give you just like a normal peri bottle but I really liked the angled peri bottles and I actually suggest getting an angled peri bottle even if you're gonna have a c-section because you don't necessarily need this because there's no trauma to your lady parts but it is very painful after you have a massive incision across your stomach to turn and wipe. <sighs> So I used a peri bottle after my c-section because it was much easier just to lean down and just squirt the water to clean everything off than to try to lean and turn and wipe yourself that way. It was really painful. So get one of these. I got this one on Amazon. The Frida one is like double the price. This is just like an off brand on Amazon. I will have this linked like I said. Um, I think this was like six or seven bucks. And then the last thing I have in here is Dermaplast. This is just numbing spray and I actually have a few cans of this but I'm just bringing one to the hospital. I heard that you can go through this pretty quick so that is all I have for my postpartum stuff. I figured if I needed anything else the hospital would most likely provide it or I could just send my husband to the store to go get it so that is what I am bringing for recovery, for clothing, aka just basically coming home outfit and just what I'm wearing while I'm there. I'm assuming I'm just gonna be wearing a hospital gown while I deliver baby, but for afterwards, I did bring one set of pajamas that are nursing friendly. So these ones are from Cozy Earth. They're seriously so comfortable. They are pricey, but they did send them to me. So I have these shorts because I am having a baby in August, by the way. So it's going to be super hot. I have shorts and then this little button down pajama top. Perfect for nursing, perfect for opening it up and being able to have any access to anything. I think I'll just come home in this like I don't mind walking out of the hospital in pajamas like it's no big deal so I'm just bringing that and a robe I basically lived in my robe after I had my c-section with my boys it was so comfortable this is the same one that I brought to the hospital with them so I'm bringing just my nice soft comfy bathrobe because like I said easy to get open easy to nurse easy to pump um, I actually am not bringing my pump to the hospital this time though because I want to mostly breastfeed you know that depends on him and how he latches 
is and everything but I did pretty much exclusively pump with my twins but twins are a whole nother story so I'm not planning on bringing a pump to the hospital I just thought I'd mention that hospitals also have a pump so if I like need to use one I can just borrow theirs the next thing I want to show you is my other cosmetics bag this is gonna have glasses contacts and then any just like any cosmetics I want to bring I don't really think I'm gonna bring like makeup but um I'll show you what's in here. I just have like contact case. I got me and my husband a little portable toothbrush, got us some toothpaste. I got myself some shampoo and conditioner. I probably won't shower if we're just, if I just have a vaginal birth and we're there for a day. But if I have a C-section, I will be there enough days that I will want to shower. So I'm bringing that just in case. I did get a little travel size dry shampoo, some deodorant, and then I just have some scrunchies and a brush and this brush is nasty don't look at all the hair in it but that is what's in the cosmetic ba cosmetics bag I don't know if I want to bring like any makeup items like I might put a little bit of makeup on just for like pictures or something but I haven't really decided yet oh and then I have another separate little bag in here that has just makeup remover um, and face wipes like cleaning face wipes so that is all what is in my cosmetics bag and I'll show you guys it's not like arranged super neatly or anything but it just all fits in there pretty nicely. This obviously doesn't fit in my bag, but I am bringing my boppy nursing pillow. I don't know if I like this or not yet. I haven't ever used one. I actually had like a twin nursing pillow with my boys. So I will be trying this one out. I've heard mixed reviews and some people like really strongly prefer the my breast friend one, but a lot of people swear by this one. But I like this because you can use it for like tummy time and sitting when they get a little bigger. So it's definitely got like a bunch of uses. So yeah, I'm bringing this to the hospital. I'll let you know if I like it or not. Don't know yet next I am bringing two nursing bras I think I want to deliver in the black one just because if I'm wearing it and like he comes out and they put him on my chest if he's like bloody and gross I don't want to ruin it <laughs> so I'm gonna use this black one I got these from Target they're just like the crisscross nursing bras um and then this they're the brand Auden A-U-D-E-N and I got them in a large um I believe a two pack was 20 bucks so really good affordable ones and I'm also getting a few from another brand but they haven't come in the mail yet so I'll see like which ones I like better but as of right now I just have these two packed and then this is also very important I'm bringing a 10 foot charger because sometimes the outlet locations in hospital rooms are kind of wacky like they're not close to the beds or anything so I'm bringing a 10 foot phone charger and I'm also bringing my camera charger camera battery camera all that because I am going to try to film my birth not film the actual baby coming out of me but like from behind because that was not something I got to do with my boys having that emergency c-section at 32 weeks because it was chaos it was scary and I just have a few pictures that my husband tried to snap but I do want to be able to go back and look at the videos and I don't know I just want to like be able to relive it a little bit because this is also my last baby so I just want to cherish it and then the last thing I'm bringing for me for the hospital are just some slides aka shower shoes also um I don't know if I'm gonna bring these ones I have a few pair of these cloud shoes but I was thinking about it and I was like ugh, I don't know if I want to wear these in the shower maybe I'll just bring like a cheap pair of like old navy flip-flops haven't decided but I think I'm actually just gonna like wear these there so they don't take up space in my bag so that is everything that's coming with me in my bag now I'm gonna show you guys what I am bringing for baby boy okay this is baby boy's little bag this looks like it's the same size as my other one but I swear it's like half the size <laughs> but this is the beautiful I think it's the Emmy from Mina Bay the Mina, Mina Bay Los Angeles is the company I will have this linked below but it is like a shoulder bag and a carry and a backpack and I did get this little pacifier carrier thing from Amazon that I clipped onto it but this is his little bag and I'm gonna show you as much as possible some of this stuff is like custom and has his name on it so I'll kind of like sneakily show you those things but this is everything I'm bringing for him specifically um and I'm not bringing diapers so if you're wondering why I'm not bringing diapers and wipes the hospital will provide them I know the hospital provides them because I had babies there they literally like want you to take everything in the room and the little like um bassinet thing that they have in the room has like a cart underneath that has like diapers and all that stuff so this is basically just like fun stuff <laughs> I mean some of it's necessary but you'll know what I mean let me just show you for starters I am bringing a fan this is for me in labor but also for his 
car seat because we're having him either late July or early August, it's gonna be hot. Pretty much every day where I live now is like 100 plus degrees. Next, I am bringing two stretchy swaddles. I am bringing just one plain green one. And then I have a custom one from Caden Lane. I don't know if I can show you, it has his name on it, so I don't wanna spoil anything, but the one with his name on it is more for pictures. When they're brand new, fresh newborns, I loved using the swaddle blankets versus like the traditional zip style swaddle. I'm also bringing my gather changing mat. This is just nice to have, honestly, just so you can change them anywhere and wipe it down. And it's clean and just convenient. They fold down super nice. Green is his color. Everything in here is like some shade of green, I swear. Um, the next thing I'm bringing is this little blanket. This is just for pictures, honestly. Um, I just want to like lay it in the bassinet to take his like fresh 48 pictures. Um, but this is the confetti blanket from Finn and Vance, I believe is the company's name. They sent me a bunch of cute things and I will have this linked below. But it is just like a beautiful knit baby blanket and I do just want like a plain kind of white background for his pictures. I also have two custom name signs. I have one from Caden Lane and I have one from Etsy. There's your name hint. He start, starts with an E. This is a little small one that just has his name on it. This one's from Caden Lane. And then I have a bigger one that is from Etsy that has like date, weight, and length on it. I think these will be fun to like fill out and take pictures in and then use as decor in his nursery after. And then as far as his outfits that I'm bringing, I'm bringing a couple things just because I have no idea how big he's going to be. I have a ton of preemie clothes from the twins because they were both three pounds at birth. So they were in preemie and newborn sizes for literally ever. So I have so much stuff but this was his brother's. This is the twins. This is in preemie. So I'm bringing one preemie onesie and two newborn onesies. I feel like that's fine. Like he may have a blowout. Like you never know how many days you're going to be in the hospital. So, but I'm bringing this newborn size onesie. This one's from Cotton On. And then this is also newborn size. And I got this one from Target. It just has little lions and trees on it. And then I'm bringing a gown just in case. I feel like a lot of people do bring zero to three to the hospital just in case they have like a big baby. I have no idea what's Size he's going to be but I do have this zero to three little gown but I feel like the gowns are so universal like you can adjust them to any size that you need um just in case he's massive <laughs> it doesn't fit in newborn or preemie because this is the over preparer in me but this one's from mushy it's super cute that is all I'm bringing clothes wise I do have a few hats I'll show you really quick so I have this hat from mushy that goes with the little gown that I'm bringing and then I'm just gonna bring plain white and this little um green one and I also I'm like 99% sure he's gonna be bald because my boys were bald forever literally till they were like one and a half so I don't want his little head to be cold sorry we're almost done here I'm just bringing two burp cloths from Burt's Bees I know the hospital will have these but I just want to have them just in case he like spits up on the drive home or something and then the last thing I am bringing is pacifiers and pacifier clips now this might seem controversial hear me out so I am going to be introducing a pacifier pretty much right away um and I think there is now research to show that nipple confusion doesn't have as much scientific evidence behind it as people originally thought and I actually think pacifiers are very important because they do reduce the risk of SIDS and when my boys were in the NICU they immediately gave them a pacifier to help stimulate that suck swallow breathe motion so I plan on just doing the same thing with him and I do really like the MAM pacifiers because they're like the number one breastfed baby preferred pacifier and my boys really liked these ones once they got a little bit older the NICU gave them the like round nippled binkies. I don't like those. These have a flat nipple. I don't know if you can see that, but it's more like natural to what an actual real breast is like versus the like super round ones. And these ones actually your ba your baby can have for a lot longer, like into toddlerhood because they don't distort palate in their mouths as quickly. Bringing just like three <laughs> of those. And I got this pink, this binky clip on Amazon. This one is from Mushy. Um, and I did sterilize those and everything. I also plan on bring a little bag like just like a little grocery or, or Trader Joe's bag with some snacks in it basically that's the only thing I like don't have packed and ready to go yet that I'm not planning on packing until I get a little bit closer to my due date that is everything let me know if I'm forgetting anything the only thing that people have suggested to me is to bring my own towel I swear when I stayed at the hospital last time the towel I used there was fine um so I don't know if I'm gonna worry about that let me know am I forgetting anything should I prep less am I overdoing it <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, this is just what's gonna make me feel comfortable and at home in the hospital and every person is totally different. So let me know if you're due anytime soon. I'm so excited to share this new step in our family's lives with you guys and I will be trying to vlog and document the whole like labor and delivery process. I will do my very, very best. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.